Yo, yo, what is up? My name is Joey, and welcome back to another vlog. The bomb. Oh, I hope you all are well. I'm just uh, opening some of the windows on here because it is an absolutely beautiful day. And I hope that you are well. And that everyone had an awesome Thanksgiving. I don't know about you, but I really got to slow down a bit more during this holiday season, uh, specifically during Thanksgiving. And it felt nice to not have to do all of the hustle and bustle and go, go, go from one place to the next. Um, it's just draining at times. But I'm not here to talk about that. All that to say, I hope you and yours are well. I just spent the last couple days entertaining extended family at my new home here. And, you know, it just feels good to be able to do that. Let me move that. What's up, Tuki? Sorry, my dog just came up. One of them. What's up, Patuku? Patuku is Portuguese for little cutie. But like I was saying, um, it just felt really good to entertain extended family for the last couple days. And just to have them in my like peaceful home. It was really great to uh, witness someone doing their first cold plunge that is very near and dear to my heart. And just to witness the power that someone goes through in getting into uh, perceivably freezing cold water. It was about 41 degrees, 40 to 41 degrees, and she had never done this before, and she is so near and dear to my heart, and I'm just so proud of her for taking that leap. And there is something to be said about willingly choosing to get into a stressful environment. And I don't know about you, but in my experience, from continuing to push the envelope in those different type of ways, uh, specifically when it comes to the cold plunge, not only the mental side and the mental benefit, but also the inflammation. You know, what your body goes through is just a tremendous benefit. Um, which brings me to my next note. Now, I'm gonna do another how-to video on all of this and kind of share the things that I've done wrong. I'm gonna take you down here so you can kind of see how things have come together. Now this is what it looks like. We've got the chill sign, we've got the towel rack with all the black towels. I have white towels and linens throughout the house so I really wanted to delineate what is meant to be used for the plunge and what is not. Right back here in this corner is where the sauna is going to go whenever I decide to build that. Now a few things. When it comes to this cold plunge this specifically was built inside a chest freezer. Now, I've built one before in a chest freezer a couple years ago, and it worked well, and I've had many friends that have used them in chest freezers. However, I will also add that they do have a shelf life, meaning they do have an amount of time that they will work for that eventually they will break and they will break down and the thing is you get to err on the side of caution of do I want to spend the money to repair it or is it more cost effective to buy something new or the third door is it more cost efficient to actually build something the right way in the beginning now in this I did a few things wrong I shared in the last video um, or one of the other videos how basically right here when we were drilling this in, because we couldn't get this on with just glue, because this is actually like pretty thick, as you can see. Um, it's about as thick as my finger. So it's heavy, so we couldn't really use glue. So when we were drilling it in, this is our own fault, we hit one of the refrigerant canisters. Now with that means that eventually the chiller inside will go dull. I will also add because I was more concerned about making the inside durable because it, it was not lined with a white liner like some people tell you to buy. However, those do eventually go bad as well. Um, with that being said, 
I lined the inside with black vinyl, as I've already shared, and I also used rubber sealant all over the inside. And prior to that, I used uh, caulk sealant on all of the corners and everywhere that it needed it on the inside. And then I put vinyl and then I put the rubber sealant. With that being said, the chiller inside works, however, not as efficiently as it normally would. With that being said, hey, dogs, I don't know what they're eating off the ground, but they shouldn't be eating it. With that being said, I ordered a chiller for this, the similar type of chiller that is used in like one of the Spartan plunges or some of those other companies, similar to this, like Fire Cold Plunge. They use an auto chiller, which things like that are normally used in aquariums. It is supposed to be here later today. And with that means that it'll automatically have a chilling system. It'll also have another pump to cir circulate water in and out through the chiller. And with that being said, it'll be completely self-sustaining. I do already have an ozonator, which I may end up getting a larger ozonator and kind of putting it on a better timer. Um, I really like how it's all coming together so far. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for it. You know, to get this entire like wellness area completely done and all put together has been a huge dream of mine for a long time. And with that, you know, I am grateful to have been blessed in my life and that I have the opportunity and ability to build things like this and do things like this. And I'm not talking like monetarily, I'm talking blessed in many ways with love and family and brotherhood and things of that nature. And I firmly believe this. Dogs, let's go. Come. I firmly believe this, that money to me is a byproduct of impact, which means I don't have money unless I create impact. And if I create impact, I have more money. And if I have more money, it's because I create more impact. With that being said, appreciate y'all being here and I will see you on the next one. Peace. You took the bomb.